Hello, friends, and welcome to your weekly announcements here at Trinity Church in Portland. My name is Peter Swore, and I'm so glad you're taking a moment to have a sense of what's going on here in your community of faith. The first thing that I want to point out is this Friday, the men's group is heading to the main Celtics for an outing at 7 p.m. If you've already talked to me about that game, I'm looking forward to seeing you there. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to contact me, and I'll give you more information. Then, on Saturday, the vestry will be gathering for a half-day retreat over at St. Mary's the Virgin in Falmouth. Please hold your vestry in prayer as we gather together, as we share with one another, and as we pray about how God might be calling us to serve in Christ's name here in the city of Portland. Then, Sunday morning, we will gather for worship here in person at 8 o'clock and in person at 10 o'clock. That 10 o'clock service will also be live streamed on YouTube and Facebook, so you're always welcome to join us online or in person with a mask, of course. Then, following Sunday service from noon until 2 o'clock, Trinity Service Corps will be gathering together and we will be making a difference here in the city of Portland. We're putting together care kits for nurses working at Maine Med who have been going through an incredibly difficult time. So teens, we're gonna gather together, we're gonna pack up bags, 40 different care packages with all kinds of different goodies and items, and we're going to write personalized notes to those nurses just telling them that they are known, that we are praying for them, that they're not forgotten. So teens, I look forward to seeing you. If you haven't already replied, email me or call me and let me know if you'll be taking part. Then, on Monday, we'll have our third in our series of exploring the Gospel of Luke. So far, we've done a basic overview of the book, then we've looked at the first nine chapters, and this week we'll be looking at chapters 10 through 18. That'll be taking place in the Ogden Room from 6 until 7.15. Anyone and everyone is welcome to come and take part in this exploration of the Gospel of Luke. Then, Tuesday evening on the 8th of February, the Trinity Labyrinth will be out in Lincoln Hall, and you are invited from 5 o'clock until 8 o'clock to come to be still and to walk the labyrinth seeking the living and loving presence of God. We do ask that you wear masks while you're here and walking the labyrinth. Anyone is welcome to take part from 5 o'clock until 8 o'clock. We'll look forward to seeing you in Lincoln Hall. Then the next day, Wednesday the 9th, Laundry Love returns. Trinity Church will be heading over to Wash Tub 2, a laundromat that's right next to the Burger King on Forest Ave. We'll be working there from 1 until 5.30 and offering free washing, free drying, free detergent, free dryer sheets, and simply getting to know and welcoming our community. If you're interested in taking part, you can email me my information is down below, or you can reach out to Heather Sylvester. We'll look forward to talking to you, telling you a bit about Laundry Love, and then reaching out to bring love and hope to our greater Portland community. The final thing that I'd like to hold up for all of you is Sunday the 13th of February. That's Super Bowl Sunday. Quite literally, it's Super Bowl Sunday, but here at Trinity, it's Super Sunday, where we bring in non-perishable soups and things that go with soups to help those who are hungry and in need. I invite you, next time you're out shopping, to grab a bunch of non-perishable goods that would go with soup, bring them into the church, and then we will use those goods to help people who are dealing with food insecurity in our broader community. There are so many ways for us to be grounded in faith, to reach out in service, to be connected with one another. I'm grateful for what God is doing in and through you, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Many blessings.